23 minutes after the hour now, and right now we are seeing historically low interest rates, home sales in the double digits, but that's not necessarily good news. Isn't this also what we saw in 2004, for example? Danny Babb is a housing analyst and CEO of the Babb Group. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. And you're telling me that in, in places in California and, and in Las Vegas, sometimes you're seeing increases of 20% a month? 20% a month. Um, Florida, Arizona, Las Vegas, Southern California in a month. Last time I checked, Incomes aren't going up 20%. Right, per I mean, month. that sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? It, it does. This, the, the new housing recovery is built on very shaky ground, unfortunately. Um, we have unprecedented, long term, short priced interest rates. We have very low inventory. And we have buyers that want to get in on the action before they think interest rates are going to go up. At the same time, we're hearing that homeowners are, are actually doing a little bit better, but mm -hmm. one in five are still underwater. One in five are still underwater. Um, it's, a lot of them want to hold on to their home until it's at least breaking even again. That's actually contributing more to the problem because it's lowering inventory and it's creating bidding wars in, in a lot of areas in the country um, that are really causing trouble for people who want to get into the market. Well, how much of this are, are in Investors trying to, you know, find something and then and then flip it for more. And how much are people actually wanting to be in the home? Flippers are really coming back into the market. I have colleagues who are holding homes for between 10 and 30 days, and they're coming back in vast numbers and buying hundreds of homes at a time. About one in five homes right now is investor purchased in some areas of the country. That's actually about 50 percent. Hmm which we saw in Vegas and Florida back in 2005. All right, well, we're also seeing that builders are starting to hire more uh, as well, mm -hmm. uh, a pace of 30,000 a month over the, the last five months. So that sounds yeah. great, but you know, is, are, are we gonna see something burst and then these people lose their jobs again? Well, that's potentially an issue, and we also know that, that builders have raised the price on new homes. They're citing that their costs went up, but 15% increase in price at a new home in one year. Yesterday, this, this past wow. week, we had the highest number ever for a new, new home price. That's not sustainable over the long term without the backbone of a solid economy, jobs in particular, behind it. Yeah, you have to have the fundamentals there. <laughs> Danny, thank you yeah. so much for your time today. Thank you.